we have teams to play so we will start with this one i think this is greasiest's team annihilate maru steelix should be fun it's basically annihilate double steel right and we'll play through all these teams and we'll see if any of them uh find a positive set for us a little rusty but hey it should be a good time so why don't we dive right on in and we'll play with some patreon teams today uh appreciate the support from our lovely patrons uh helps me keep doing this so appreciate y'all a lot um all right what do we got the slayer good luck friend what do you got what do you got what do you got an ilape into a mantine not a great place for us to start uh i am gonna pivot here uh look we baited out we baited out their monkey which i have to assume is the plan right i have to assume in many ways that this is the plan is for us to go monkey now the question is do we just go for switch advantage here i probably shouldn't have shielded a night slash though oh oh um this mm, nah. oh come on they got the boost well that's some bullshit i tell you what all right well we we spent a shield and then the boost i don't know that we get there uh otherwise right like But obviously, we shouldn't have shielded the first one, probably, uh, given that the circumstances are bad. Our problem here is we're behind a shield now. Now, the Maru is great into Mantine, but we're going to need it to core break. I don't think that's the core breaker we're looking for, y'all. <laughs> I don't think this is the Pokemon we were hoping would be in the back. How do we win this? Oh, well, they have a second dig. I should have thrown the other wild charge. <laughs> Not that it matters, right? Yeah, there's the dig. All right, you got me. All right, we're just going to concede. I guess we had like a minor win condition if we had baited and then they had shielded, but it was going to be so hard to get to that position. All right, well, uh, all right, cheers, brother. Nobody have a good one. I don't think we were going to win that game. We got pretty savagely RPS and then I also kind of misplayed it, so uh bad combination of things all around uh dugong dugong's a good lead for us this is a lead we can handle yeah Obviously, like, they might just be sacking the dugong here. No? Okay. I mean, maybe they... Well, they probably don't win at parity, but they might actually be able to win this if they spend another shield. Like, like they're going to be able to win this, I think. Okay. I mean, here's our problem, though. If they just shield this, which they're going to, we're in a bit of a... We're in a bit of a pickle, right? Where I have to put the Steelix in here now. Which is not exactly a Pokemon that wants to be fighting Annihilate, right? Oh, and they Shadow Balled me? That's not good. Okay. I was hoping they would Night Slash given that... Mm, yeah, this is going to be a problem. We're going to have to kill this thing and I don't really have a great... 
I don't have a great plan for this. I know it seems bad, but we're just going to come in here and do this. I don't know that a fell stinger kills them. But we're trying to put ourselves in a position where maybe... Ugh. Y'all, I don't know about this Toj de Maru being a terribly valuable member of our team at this juncture. Uh, I mean, this matchup is obviously like okay for us but counterpoint I don't know how we win from here <laughs> right Not entirely sure how we win. And I've got a lot of boosts on, I tell you what. But I just don't... I, th I have to kill three Pokemon with this thing. And I'm not sure it's going to happen. Oh, well, I was a little slow on that. I mean, we're, we're looking at, like, I need a wild charge from here. And then I need two foul... Yeah, we're, it's never happening. I don't I don't know I don't know I uh I'm not I'm not sold on this team comp at this point we've run into a lot of awkward stuff but like you've basically positioned Toj Demuru to be your closer and it's not a very strong one <laughs> I I've had a hard time putting myself in a position where I've been up a shield with it I mean I was there but it didn't matter we got core broke right Here's another another matchup where I just don't feel like this is a position we're really happy to be in, right? This thing core breaks the fuck out of us. It beats all three of our Pokemon, I'm pretty sure. Maybe it doesn't beat Maru. Maybe if it's on it, we're resisting everything. Maybe we swap that, but I imagine we're just gonna get blown out if I do. I'll try. Maybe we maybe we don't rely on this thing to be a, a closer. Maybe we rely on this thing as a swap in this game. But imagine Frenzy Plant still fucks us up, right? Yeah, that's about half. Oh, hello, a dugong? That's interesting. Okay. I mean, we're going to shield and throw another one, right? Interesting. Okay, and we kill this thing. And that just depends on what's in the back. I mean, we're up a shield, right? We've got a Steelix, which is a great Pokemon to have up a shield. Uh, Carbink. Oh, no. Well. I'm glad that I mathed this out correctly. Because that's going to go a long way. But uh I we're gonna we're gonna be here a while. Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you, opponent, for conceding and not making me play out what's gonna be an extremely long, extremely long matchup, even though you're less than half health. Alright. Uh so Maru was good there. It looked good there at least. I think my opponent had maybe brought in the carbink against Maru. It would have actually been a little better, but I guess they were worried maybe I was on the steel move. All right. Let's see if we can turn things around, yeah? Let's see if we can turn things around. 
Annihilate and Ferrothorn. That is a good lead for us. Especially since the rest of our team is pretty bad in this. Now, do they have Water Pulse? If they have Water Pulse, this gets a little awkward. They have Ice Beam. Okay. So I don't really need to worry too much about this. I can actually... Fell Stinger. So here's the here's the thing I'm worried about. I don't want to... Uh... I don't really want to go into the Ferrothorn matchup and just get farmed here, but... I do think we're going to be able to put some real damage on it. Oh, they shielded. Interesting. Surprise. Are they going to two shield here? I'd be shocked. They are two shielding. Okay, well, we're going to do the same, I guess, right? I'm pretty sure we'll kill them. I mean, obviously, if this gamble pays off, that'll be pretty bad. Okay, so they're dead now. Is it Pharaoh coming back? What's coming? What's coming in? Huh. So we're like super, super, super defense dropped, right? Like, <laughs> to the point that that did actual damage to our opponents, kind of wild, right? Okay. I mean, obviously, like, they're going to power whip us twice. So the question is, will, will power whip kill us, right? Let me see what power whip does here. Oh, well, that's not great. I think they have another power whip. I assume that we die to a dig, right? It'd be really interesting if we survive a dig. Uh, we do. Okay. Maybe we should be going for crunch here. Hmm, it's about to get really interesting. Oh, GG's. I was like, it's, uh, we're really low. And, uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. About that. All right. Well, good news, bad news. The good news, we're two and two. The bad news is we've been two and two a lot. They win if they wing attack before the aerial ace. You might be right. You might be right. There's definitely some sequencing at the end that could have been better for both of us, I think. Hey, look, it's a Giratina. Huh. Obviously, this is not a great matchup for us. We're taking super effective from their fast move. And, uh... That's gonna be an ominous win, which will definitely ruin our day, right? And I was hoping to maybe, uh, okay. The reality is that Giratina is going to be a problem almost no matter what we do here. So, um, I don't, I'm not like 
overly thrilled about the idea of falling behind shields here. Okay, so that goes down. This is good, because we need to get rid of it anyway. Our other problem is just, how do I kill this thing? If I don't do that. Yeah, I think maybe this is that's not a good shield. Because they just have the two, right? The problem now is I do not have fast move pressure to put on this thing. At all, right? And we need to get rid of a shield here. Oh, what's the back Pokemon? Dugong. Oh no, Dugong's got the uh it's got a ground move. Yeah, okay, so Yeah. Oh, and they didn't shield that? Wow. Okay. Well. We definitely don't win now. <laughs> All right, you got me. GG's. I mean, okay, so if they shield it, we still probably lose. They have a gear team with a bunch of energy, right? And they have a shield. So I don't think it matters what they do there. I was expecting that, like, I think our out was them shielding. Let's put it that way. I don't think it was smart for them to shield. I'm not, shouldn't have been surprised they didn't shield, but I think that was our out. Uh, yeah, I can say with some confidence that team does not speak to me. Um, I appreciate the suggestion, but I probably won't be running that one back. <laughs>